Hi friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel IT Part 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install and configure Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services Store, replicating ADLDS instances, backup and restoring the ADLDS databases in Windows Server 2016. Here, I am using the Windows 2016 servers. Come to Server 1. Open Server Manager, click on Add Roles and Features, select Role Based on Feature Based Installation, next, select Server from the Server Pool, next, here please select Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, next, 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 and please select this option, restart the destination server automatically if required. Install. After installation succeeded on server, I have to configure this. Close this. Come to Tools. Open ADLDS. Set a wizard. Next. For creating new instance of ADLDS with the default configuration and schema partitions, please select Unique Instance. I will show how to use replica of an existing instance in the coming steps. Next, select the instance name to differentiate this instance from other ADLDS instances. Next. Select the specific ports so that computers will connect to these instance using these ports. Here, don't choose 389 for the LDAP port and 636 for the SSL port because Active Directory Domain Services use these port numbers. Next, here, please select this option. Yes, create an application directory partition to store application specific data in partition name. Please type in the following format. After that, click on Next. And in file location, keep it as default. Next. And here, please select network service account so that ADLDS has the permissions of the default Windows account. Next and here please select currently logged on user because only the user installing ADLDS will have administrative permissions. Next and please select all the LDIF files. Next, now it is ready to install. Next, after completing the ADLDS setup wizard, click on finish, come to tools, open ADSI, edit. Here, right click on ADSI edit and please select connect to. First, I want to create default ADLDS instance. Simply click on OK. Expand this. And now I want to create a custom instance. Again, right click on this. Please select Connect to. Here, please select a name for your instance. And in connection point, select this. Please enter this. And come to here in computer. Please select this option here. Please enter your server name and LDAP port number. 
after that click on ok now it is created the custom instance expand this here we can observe the difference between default and custom instances select roles and double click on users you will get attribute editor on which developer team can perform the task without disturbing the main directory here we can also add additional objects to this instance for that right click on roles please select new object here we will get different classes select the class you want to add here I'm selecting container next please type a container name next finish now let's start replicating the ADLDS instance of first server come to server 2 open server manager please select add roles and features in second server also we have to install active directory lightweight directory services next next after installation succeeded on server we have to configure this close this come to tools open ADLDS set a wizard click on next here please select replica of an existing instance next and please select a name for your instance next and here please choose a LDAP port number and SSL port number Next, here please select the server and LDAP port number of the server in which ADLDS instances was created. Click on browse, come to advanced, find now and select server 1. Okay, and after that, enter the port number. Next, to add this instance to configuration set, specify the account with administrative permissions. Select this account and here type your domain name and administrator. Enter the password. Next, here select the application directory partitions you want to copy from the configuration set to the selected server please select this and click on next in file locations keep it as default next and please select network service account next and here please select currently logged on user next and it's ready to install next After completing the ADLS setup wizard, finish, come to tools, open ADSI edit. And please right click on ADS edit, select connect to. Here, please select the name for your instance. come to computer and please select this option here please type your second server 
name and port number after this click on ok now run this and please select rows here we will get the same replicated instance that we have created in first server after this come to server 1 here I will show few important commands which will be used with ADLDS. Open command prompt as administrator. First we have to stop the LDS. For that please type net stop your LDS name. Because if the developer's team working in the background while taking backup, you will not get the whole backup. Please type NTDS util and activate the instance. Now please type files. Now come to C drive. Here I want to create few folders. After this again come to command prompt. Here I want to move the database to the folder. For that please type move database to assign the folder. Similarly to move logs please type move logs to LDS logs and here move log files were successful. Now come to the folders, open LDS database and LDS logs. Here we will get the encrypted files which can be accessed only with the instance. Again come to command prompt Please type quit. Again, next dot LDS. Now I will show how to back up the LDS. For that, please type DSDB util. Activate the instance. And after that, please type IFM. Here to create full backup, please type create full. LDS backup folder. First, it will create snapshot. After successful backup, come to LDS backup folder and here you will get the encrypted files. Again come to command prompt. Please quit. By using DSDB tool we can only backup LDS instances. To restore it back please stop the LDS. Again, please type DSDB util. And first, I have to find the instances in my server. So for that, please type list instance. 
and here it is showing the default instance and custom instance t-step authority day 2 restore to restore object t-step restore object and the instance name Are you sure you want to perform this authoritative restore? Yes. No. Authoritative restore completed successfully. After that, wait. Wait. No. We can close the command prompt. Like this, we can install and configure Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services rule replicating ADLES instances, backup and restoring the ADLES databases in Windows Server 2016. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel ITBot143 to watch more latest updated videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.